Hi kids, Mr. Marco here. Today we're going to cook pasta with broccoli. And I want to use this pasta. When you cook pasta with broccoli, make sure you use like a panette or rigatoni, short and thicker pasta. So we're going to use this pasta. So the ingredients for today, we have of course, the main ingredient is broccoli, a nice big onion, some bay leaves, some cloves, garlic cloves, and some parmesan for later. And of course, lots and lots of good olive oil, okay? When we make pasta with broccoli, there is many different versions. There is the version where they put some anchovies here, some prosciutto, some ham. I just really like the taste of broccoli and it's a very good vegetarian dish. So of course, we start with cleaning a lovely broccoli. There we are, we get some lovely broccoli. So we separate the stock from the head. And we're going to use that too. And we're going to separate all the head nicely and small. Yeah. We try to make all the same size, the broccoli head. So they will cook the same. There we are. I already washed the broccoli and everything else, but I'm going to put in a big colander. Maybe it will give a rinse because sometimes some bugs hide inside. Here we are. Hope so everyone loves broccoli. It's a very good tasting pasta. This is like my grandmother version. Simple but very tasty. Remember, take your time when you use a knife, always important. And make sure your parents supervise you. So I try to go a little bit faster. If you know, we take very, very long time, but now, now I'm going to use one more head of the broccoli and I'll show you what. This is, a, I'm going to cook separate from the sauce. And with this one here, I need to go and make this much smaller. And later on, you understand why. So now I'm going to separate all nicely. Okay. And I'm going to put it in a different container. So it's much smaller compared to the other one we've done before. Here we go. Okay. Done. And now we going to use even the stock for the sauce. I chop the bottom. Clean it nicely. Chop the bottom. Yeah, the stock actually are very nice and tasty. Okay. Let's go to our lovely compost. 
we this here like when we chop the carrots you have to be very careful so chop 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 and we roughly we're going to make little cubes Broccoli go inside. Lovely. We want to use very soon. I want to give a super quick rinse to everything. There is nothing. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, done. So now we want to do a lovely onions. Here we are. It's a quite big onion. compost okay with the onion we really need to chop this onion very small so we're going to use all the onion so take your time make sure your parents help you chop the onion so small because again I tell you many times is we want the onion to disappear in the sauce we don't want to have a big chunk a piece of onion to be you not know, very pleasant when you eat them garlic cloves you can choose two or three or four I like garlic so I choose four would be nice and strong taste again clean clean your beautiful garlic garlic very nice and small I always like to take the middle out if there is any middle sometimes there is not yeah, just a little bit 
easy to digest. Okay. Even with the garlic, we try to chop a little bit smaller than usual. Yeah, on the end, because we want just to see the broccoli sauce, so we want everything else, all the other ingredients to disappear. Okay, there we are. Basically, all our preparation are done. So we done our broccoli, we done our onion, our garlic. So now we will go to a lovely stove and we start cooking. So bring the ingredients over. Fry a pan on. Lots of nice olive oil, extra virgin. Nice. And how you can see, already here I have a beautiful big pot with water, and it's already start boiling. So everything is going very nice and smooth. So very soon we're going to put inside the pasta. So let's start with the sauce. Just wait until a little bit. Not yet. Then when you cook, you need to be very patient. So don't rush anything. Take your time. Start so I can go and put inside the onion side. Lovely. Yeah, definitely. Lovely music when you're cooking a fire pan. You can hear. So broccoli will take like eight minutes to cook and so the pasta. So soon the onions start cooking them nicely down. I'm going to put now the garlic. Lovely. inside the bay leaves for nice and taste fresh from the garden now we 
just wait a little bit. Give it a couple of minutes until the onion really start sweating. It's nice. Mm, the smell with the bay leaves, the onion, the garlic is fantastic. You can put a pinch of salt. I'm going to put the Remember the stock we have there before? I'm going to put inside the pot where I'm cooking the pasta. So I put that in now. I will not to the oil. Water. And we're going to cover. Lovely. Now, uh, water soon is start boiling again. We're going to put our pasta inside. That is almost there. Yeah, let's put a lovely pasta. Lovely. Quick stir. And good salt. Now we wait in until the pasta is ready, cooked, and we're going to put together the pasta with the broccoli. So now our pasta is almost ready, and even our broccoli. So we're going to take the lid off. Here our pasta is almost ready, lovely. Our broccoli, yeah. If you notice the broccoli need to be more water, just get some more water from the pasta, put inside. So this is what we're going to do now. With our fork, we're going to squash our broccoli. Remember, these have to be like a sauce, so we want our broccoli to be nice and juicy like a sauce. So we want to squash. So at this stage, if you like some more salt or pepper, it's up to you. Lovely. You see it's become like a saucy. Lovely. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay, a couple more minutes and we are ready. Yeah. Lovely. So 
So now at this stage, you remember the block to be a little bit smaller over here. We're going to put together with the pasta. Lovely. I think, yeah, two or three minutes and everything will be ready. So, done. Keep a nice to a lovely sauce. Yeah. Broccoli. Mm. Holy. Yeah. Now, luckily, we have a special pot. Take out and I can pour in all the pasta. Ooh, a little bit too much pasta. Some more olive oil. So that was the reason why we separate the broccoli. So the one we put in the pasta. You can see they are nice, so you can see them and the sauce. Okay, a pasta with broccoli are ready. So now we're going to dish it. So we go back to our lovely station. Fantastic. A nice spring of parmesan on top. There we are. A lovely pasta. With broccoli is ready now just one things to do i have a nice taste mm. very good and it really tastes like a broccoli so kids next time and buon appetito <laughs>